Hey, beautiful people, stay tuned, because up next, I'm giving y'all my top 10 tips to survive college. So stay tuned. Starting off with number 10, stay organized. That is including financial aid, admissions, when you're your senior year, turning your application in, homework, classwork, whatever. It's just stay organized. College is, you're so independent in college. And you're not going to have those teachers running behind you asking for your homework, asking, did you do this assignment, why your paper wasn't turned in. They don't care. You might run across those few maybe one or two teachers throughout your full four years of college that actually care. But nine times out of ten, it's so many people in the class, they don't have time to keep up with you. So you have to stay organized. Also, with financial aid, make a copy of every single thing you send in the financial aid. I've never had a problem personally, knock on wood. Hope I never do. But I never had a problem personally with financial aid, losing my information, or screwing anything up with my financial aid or my grants or anything like that. But I know a lot of people who always have problems with financial aid because they don't make copies of their stuff. Or they mail it to them. Don't mail nothing. Bring it to that school, admissions office, or financial aid office, personally. Turn it into the person personally. Make sure they stamp it, put it in the computer, whatever they got to do. Just make sure they do it in your face. Don't just walk off because they will lose it, quote unquote, I'm sorry, lose it. And then you'll be stuck like Chuck. So, just stay organized. Alright, number nine. Parties, clubs, and sex. Oh my. Okay, parties and clubs. Number one, it's going to be parties. And people going to clubs every single day. I know in my school, the alphas got a party the day before. Us, the adults, we have a party the day of. So, it's like, I feel bad for the freshmen because the freshmen don't really... They haven't really grappled how to deal with back-to-back -back parties and just say no. It's cool to say no. Ain't nothing wrong with saying no. Like, you going to school to get education, not go to parties. Know your limit. If you know you got a test in the morning and you know you haven't studied, stay your behind at school at home in your dorm or your apartment or whatever and study. Because trust me, I made the mistake too many times of being like, oh, I'm good. I can study when I come back. Come back from the club, be buku tired, get right back in that bed and go to sleep and wake up the next morning and gotta stay on my way to school. Mm -mm. Study, 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 study. Parties and clubs will always be that. Always gonna have a party. The club ain't gonna burn down. It may get shot up, but it ain't gonna get burnt down. It's gonna always be that. So just don't feel like you lame. Who the, don't, no one peer pressures nowadays. That's like so 90s. No one does that. So it's not going to sit here and clown you because you don't want to go to the club. Just say no. Um, also, sex. <sighs> sex, sex, sex. Um, just be smart. Use the condom. Safe sex. It's going to be sex. Especially if your, your dorm is a co-ed dorm and y'all don't have visitation. Like my school, we have co-ed dorms. And you don't have a certain amount of visitation. Like, we don't have a, somebody sitting in the lobby monitoring who comes in and out. You can just leave and go when you please. We're on a curfew. So, it's kind of easy for dudes to come over to your room while girls to go to a dude room. Especially if you got an apartment. I know I have an apartment. So, it's easy for dudes to come to my house. It ain't that serious. So, just be smart. Safe sex is the best sex. Because you don't want to get that late text. They think I'm late text, if y'all know what I mean. But, um... Just be smart, safe sex, birth control, and just be smart. I can't say that enough. Be smart. That's all I got to say. Y'all got common sense. Use it. Thank you. Okay, number eight. Start off strong. Freshman year, start off strong. Because freshman class is easy. English 101, um, history 101, uh, 102. Them beginning math class, especially like if you're taking transition math, oh, that's a breeze. If you really like understand your information, just start off strong. I know my freshman year, I'm, I'm about to go to my fourth year of college. My freshman year, I had a 3.65 ending it out. I did damn good for myself my freshman year because I knew that when you get more into your major, classes get harder. You may F up. 
so you need to you need to have that cushion to kind of mess up and I know I messed up the semester I pledged my sorority I messed up a little bit in one of my classes so like the fact that I had a high GPA my GPA didn't suffer that much but if you start off with a 2.2 Yo, and you make that one little bad grade in one class, then you screw basically. Financial aid might get took from you, won't be able to join no organization. Yo, might appeal housing because I know housing um requires a certain GPA. Just be smart once again, be smart and just start off strong in school. So you have to worry about oh man, my GPA not high enough for me to do this, or I might mess up in this class. My GPA gonna be poor after that. Just start off strong, and have to worry about all that. So Okay, the freshman 15, excuse me, the freshman 15 or not, um, it's all this hype about freshman 15, woo freshman 15, woo okay, honestly, I lost weight my freshman year, I don't know if it was just because I was transitioning from high school to college, or I just... Was it eating? I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. But I lost weight my freshman year. I know some people who did gain weight freshman year, but I lost weight. But I did gain my weight. I gained weight sophomore year, so I guess you could say I had sophomore 15, but I didn't gain any weight my freshman year. Just think smart. Don't go crazy. Like, I'm pretty sure your parents feed you at home, so you don't have to sit here and go crazy. Like, oh, I'm in college, so I can eat whatever I want. Whenever I want. Like, oh my God, it's food. Get the fuck up. Get, I'm sorry. Get over it. It's food. Um... Cafeteria food ain't that good anyway, so you're not going to be sitting here going crazy. The main thing that you may go crazy over is, like, eating late, which is a habit college kids get because you're up, you up studying late, going to parties late, so clearly that's going to be a habit you're going you're gonna to acquire in college. But just be healthy. I know my school has a workout, a, um, a gym, free, nice, nice gym, track, the little exercise room, weight room, basketball, everything. So it's no excuse for you to sit here and be like, oh man, I'm I'm miserable because I'm I'm overweight. If you're gonna be overweight, be happy. I'm a big girl and I'm happy. So just be smart. Freshman 15 or not, you can or you cannot gain it. It doesn't matter. It just depends on you. Everybody's story different. Number six, choose your friends wisely. College, freshman year, plethora of people. Males and females, just be smart. Once again, just be smart. Lord, just be smart. Just don't, just don't cling to people. Cause you sit here and you cling to someone, and that person may be the total opposite of what you what you think they may be. And then you gonna your feelings gonna be hurt, or you gonna end up getting getting stereotyped as this person. Oh, well she hang with that person, so that's how she is. You may not want it like that. But people gonna say that if you hang out with a whole. People gonna consider, oh, she a hoe too. She gotta be a hoe. They gotta have something in common, so clearly she a hoe too. Just be smart. Don't sit here and, and be ignorant to how people are. And don't let nobody mess over you. People think, people come to college and try to reinvent themselves, which is cool. But if you was lame in high school, nine, nine times out of ten, you're gonna be lame in college. So just don't sit here and try to. And, and like you just the bomb.com and you're clearly not. Just stay true to yourself, basically. And my, my, my mom always told me, you learn who your real friends are when you get to college. You gain those lifelong friendships. Yeah, in high school, the person you was friends with, y'all may have been click clack, but once y'all get to college, y'all might grow apart. That happens. Like, especially if y'all become roommates, that happens. People just live with each other and they grow apart. I know me and my best friend, we're not friends anymore because... If we just grew apart, we were two different people. So it just happens. Just be smart and choose your friends wisely. Okay, number five. Mistakes are okay. If you mess up, if you just so happen to have that F or that D in the class, don't spaz out. They have summer school for a reason. And you can take the class the, the next semester. Just don't kill yourself over it. Because if you sit here and you make yourself sad and depressed about it, you can't help it. You already got the F and the D in the class. So just be smart. Once again, be smart. Okay? Just be smart. And if you know this class requires so much of you, then you need to give yourself 
to that class and study for that class and do whatever you need to do to make a decent grade or the grade that you want in that class. Just be smart.